Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. And uh, you can also download uh, the MATLAB code and LabVIEW code from that website also. So in this video, we will talk about how to design a PID controller in Simulink. In our earlier videos, we have talked about designing of a PID controller uh, through command line or through uh, M file and how to tune PID through genetic algorithm. So uh, we will move for uh, forward in that category and we'll talk about PID control design using Simulink. So open MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, start a new model. So there are two ways for designing uh, a PID controller in Simulink. One is the built-in way. Built-in way means uh, uh, Simulink uh, MATLAB directly provides a PID block uh, for designing it. But there are certain uh, problems related to that and we will look into it. So here is a PID block. And problem with this block is that uh, this is not a purely PID controller. Uh, this is a PID controller with a derivative filtering. So you might have studied in theoretical analysis and theory like uh, the feedback path which is going into derivative function that also has a low pass filter into it. So it is not exactly a PID, it is a PID with filter. So in, in a way we can set a filter parameter to 1 uh, because if we make it uh, 0 the D part will become completely 0 and let's uh, provide the proportional gain uh, let's wait it let's put other things around and then commonly used block we need a step response forward so we will get it into a source step response we need to add all the things together or to subtract the feedback path from it uh, go to step and we can change the step time and final value. So we are taking a step time 0 that means as t equals to 0 there will be a step input to the system and we need to change it. So it is 1 plus plus just change it to 1 plus minus and the icon will change to minus here and this will go directly to the PID. And uh, now we need to define the transfer function. So we'll go into the continuous block and then there we'll get a transfer function block there. So here it is a transfer function block. Double click on it. So we need to define a transfer function. So we have discussed this transfer function in all our, in all our examples. So we'll be doing the same here. And then 20. And then we need a scope. And the output of this will go there. So it's completed. And as we have already discussed, the transfer function parameter for this is nearly this. And let's say we have one. And then apply. And then OK. And let's run it. So it will run and it will give you some output. So it is going up to 3 but our response is not better. Uh, because there may be a tuning problem because it is not exactly the PID and the values which I fed that was uh, tuned values for the only the PID control. One more thing uh, with the symbolink is there we need to specify the solver configuration into it. So we'll go to the model configuration parameter and this is very important as far as the simulation is concerned and here uh, we uh, uh, change the options of solver options from variable step to fixed step and we change ODE4 Ranga Kucha uh, algorithm to solve it and we set the sampling time here so uh, if your problem statement require or your system requires sampling time say 0.1 so you can set it here. So uh, we are doing it at 0.01 sampling time that is near about 10 millisecond and then apply and then ok. 
so uh, changing the sample time completely changes the response of the PID controller into MATLAB. So let's uh, try to run it again and let's see what we see. Yeah, so if you remember the previous was there are too much oscillations were there, but now uh, oscillations are less. And let's do one thing. Was this, for these values of KP, KI and KD, uh, this PID block is not working satisfactory. So what we'll do? We will design our own PID controller with the discrete component available in the Simulink. So if we think about a PID controller, so PID controller uh, is simply uh, uh, three blocks parallel to each like proportional and then integrator and the derivative. So we will put each block one by one and let's start from constant because this will be representing the gains so this will be for kp we can write it like kp and we'll make a copy of it let's say k ki and another copy of it kd and this will go here yeah. yeah simply as we make uh, in the literature and then we're going to continuous we need an integrator so we'll put an integrator there and we need a derivative we put a derivative here and then all these things will be added together so we'll make a adder and because it need a three signs so we'll change it to I plus plus so it will make three input strands so kp value goes there ki and then kd and output goes to there so let's say let's change it value to 300 and this value to 350 and this value to 10 and let's run it again so yep so now it's a well perfect tuned PID controller as we have already discussed for those values and it is going to the so this makes a PID control in Simulink and it's make easy to change those values and to understand how it is working. So let's try to um, change the value of KI gain and let's see what happens there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. It is more accurate uh, nearly a very less change has been occurred. So now try to change the uh, sampling time of the system as we discussed like uh, it has a possibility to change the response of the system so let's say we are now have 0 0.1 and then ok and let's run it now as I mentioned earlier your system response has been changed abruptly and it is going up to 0 0.10 to 249 towards minus side so it's something else so we need to tune it again uh, because these particular values of KPA, KI and KD are tuned with having sampling frequency of uh, 0 0.01. So if we want to uh, tune it for say 0 0.1 sampling frequency and, and the value will be different. KPK, KD values will be different. So let's change it back to 0 0.01 and apply and let's see. Now the response is perfect to go. So uh, let's save this file and on desktop was PID Simulink. So I hope you have understood how to design a PID controller in MATLAB or particularly in Simulink and uh, 
uh, how to change the various parameter like uh, so changing the um, solver configuration of PID control and setting the sampling time for the simulation of PID controller. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you.